As the space race continues, China and Russia have signed a bold agreement to build a joint lunar base by 2036. It would be a fully powered, permanent research station on the moon's south pole. To add to this achievement, China just launched its ambitious Tianwen-2 mission, a daring expedition to collect samples from a near-Earth asteroid. Will this lead to shocking revelations about the origin of life itself, and why should the US in particular be worried about this asteroid mission? Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. The Tianwen-2 spacecraft lifted off atop a Long March 3B rocket from Xichang Spaceport in southwestern China on May 29. The China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation announced the launch was a success. Tianwen-2 is China's latest deep space probe, designed to explore and retrieve samples from a near-Earth elongated asteroid, 2016 HO3. The mission aims to land on the asteroid, collect surface material, and bring it back to Earth for detailed analysis. It aims to deliver samples of the object to Earth sometime in 2027. Asteroids are like time capsules from the early solar system. They contain clues about the building blocks of planets and even the origins of life on Earth. By studying asteroid samples, scientists hope to unlock secrets about how our solar system formed and evolved over billions of years. And now, China is joining the elite group of space agencies tackling asteroid sample return missions, something NASA's OSIRIS-REx and Japan's Hayabusa and Hayabusa 2 have already done with great success. Tianwen-2 is expected to build on this legacy with its own unique approach. The spacecraft will first travel millions of kilometers through space, targeting the specific near-Earth asteroid, 2016 HO3, which scientists have carefully selected for its scientific value and accessibility. Upon arrival, Tianwen-2 will carefully approach the asteroid's surface, using advanced navigation systems to avoid hazards and find a safe landing spot. Once landed, it will collect samples using a robotic arm or other collection mechanisms. These precious space rocks will then be sealed in a return capsule for the journey back to Earth, a trip that could take several years. Tianwen-2 will take advantage of its return to Earth, to deliver the samples in a re-entry module, and harness our planet's gravity to sling itself toward the comet 311P Panstars, expected to arrive around 2035. Bringing asteroid samples back home is no small feat. It requires precise engineering to ensure the capsule can survive re-entry through Earth's atmosphere without damage. Once the samples land safely, scientists will study them with cutting-edge technology, analyzing their composition, structure, and even searching for organic compounds. These studies can help answer big questions about the materials that made up the early solar system. It will also help determine if asteroids delivered water or organic molecules to Earth after past impacts. The Tianwen-2 mission will also test technologies that could help with future planetary defense, like how to deal with potential asteroid threats to Earth. Tianwen-2 is China's second mission for planetary exploration, building on the Tianwen-1 Mars orbiter and rover launched in 2020. Tianwen-3, planned for late 2028, will focus on returning samples from Mars, and Tianwen-4 aims to explore the Jupiter system and possibly Uranus. So, with Tianwen-2 blasting off and heading towards the near-Earth asteroid, China is stepping up as a major player in planetary science and exploration. But should the US be worried about China's space achievement? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated, and let's continue to explore together.